Okay, the first thing we do to fix the winder is to uh, take it off. There's a couple of quarter inch screws on here. Just using a nut driver. Okay, now we can lift this off. So we just need two measurements here to figure out how much to wind this. See how we wind it like this. We're going to be winding it back up to, to the correct tension. And we need to know the length of the cord. And so I've measured that out at 85 inches. Okay, now this machine has a cord that mounts up on the handle like many of them do. And so when you do this calculation, you have to remember that you're not going to be winding the entire cord. You're winding the entire cord minus about 35 inches. And then we need to know the other thing we need to know is the circumference of this winder. So just get a tape measure, you know, if you get a dressmaker's measure, it might even be easier. I mean, I came up with 17 and 3 quarter for this. Okay, so we have 80 at 85 overall inches minus 35, which is the part that sits outside the winder, equals 50 inches to wind. Circumference is 17 inches. Let's do our math. 50 divided by 17. Result 2.9. So we'll wind this three times. Three winds. So here's our old um, cord to pull out. See, it broke right near the end. And what we have to do, this is where it's going to come through. So we have to line up. Here's our hole, our, our exit hole for the, uh, the cord. And there's where it's going to come out. So we're going to wind from here. Okay, we're going to wind it three times now. We've got our hole lined up outside the uh, exit for the cord. One. Two. And three. And then we'll stick our, stick our little screwdriver in there and hold it. Okay, first we'll just cut this off clean. And then uh, we'll melt it. Melting the end of it will keep it from fraying. That's going to help it feed through there too if it's nice and flat. Okay, now comes the part that can be a little bit tricky. That's threading the needle. So bringing it through from the outside. See our hole there. There it is. And just put a simple knot on the end. Just one little simple knot. Don't need to leave much either on the end of it. There, that's all it's going to take. Okay, let's let go of this now. You'd have to take it back out again. Just wind it back up all the way and jam your screwdriver in with the cord lined up. Undo your simple knot. Let it go back. Take out the screwdriver. Rewind back. And do it again. I'm going to do four on this. Three just left too much slack. I had about 40 some inches left it would have been hanging dangling there so we're going to wind this up four times okay so we ended up at uh, about 28 29 inches with four turns and hopefully that's where we want to be okay let's mount this thing come on over to the other side now first of all let's get it up on the handle here Okay, then let's just swivel it around, line up the holes, grab our quarter inch nut driver, and over here on the opposite side. So now as we pull the cord, a couple inches here before it engages the engine. 
Okay, let's check out our cord. Thanks for watching.